Hi Pisces, this is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your love reading for June 2019. Hope you guys are all well and uh, don't forget your moon rising uh, and also your Venus videos. Uh, you can, you know, get a far more complete picture by watching those videos. You can get your natal chart at cafeastrology.com in case you are unaware of those, right? Let's get started you guys, uh, but before we do just a quick thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, subscribed, commented, and purchased a reading, okay? If you guys get a message here, please give me a thumbs up on the way out, okay? Or right now would even be preferable. <laughs> Let's get started, you guys. The bottom of the deck here is the King of Wands and the Death card here. Um, I've since shuffled, so, uh, you know, but... Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, you're going through an ending, most likely. The death card is also in your reading here, Pisces. You could be dealing with a Aries Leo or a Sag, but the King of Wands can show up. To me, it's uh, masculine energy, and it is anybody who is, you know, uh, channeling that or embodying that. Basically, somebody who is a leader. Uh, they could be a player here, but they're super passionate here. Uh, you know, and that is the King of Wands with a lot of courage and kind of a, you know, a little bit of a magician here, okay? Let's get going. The Six of Wands in the reverse here. Uh, I feel like right now you're not feeling so victorious here, but you could also be trying to overcome something. Clarify the Six of Wands for Pisces, please. Why is the Six of Wands there for Pisces? Okay, the King of Wands again, all right? This is the cuter one, okay, just so you guys know here. Uh, with this deck here. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to overcome here. Uh, overcome a king of wands. Or you're just not feeling so victorious about them. Your desired position. Let's clarify that king of wands. Why is the king of wands there for Pisces, please? The page of pentacles. Okay, you could be, yeah, you could be trying to overcome maybe a king of wands who has, you know, who is significant to you, who has a new start with somebody here. But, um, you know, maybe they're offering you a new start here, but you're not, you're, maybe you're not sure about it. You're not feeling confident about it. You're, also, you could be dealing with somebody who is a goddamn uh, attention whore with the Six of Wands in the reverse here. They could also be having a new start here with somebody, maybe, and you are feeling not so good about it. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Why does Pisces desire the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? Why would you do that, Pisces? Let's see here. Four of Swords. I feel like you are, right now, you're just uh, kind of reflecting here. You could be trying to heal, though, from a union that is, you know, maybe upside down here. Maybe something that didn't work out. It could also be that, you know, something is not as stable as you thought it was, and you're trying to overcome it. But this can also be that um, there could be a delay here, maybe with a new beginning. But I feel like you're trying to heal here, uh, from a situation and and overcome, right? Clap by the four swords. What else does Pisces desire? Why is that four swords there? The four of wands. It's definitely about a union, right? About a marriage or a commitment here. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you are just right now reflecting here and you could be wanting to heal. The hierophant, the hierophant is how you see in your person. So for some of you guys are married, right? And there could be a, a Taurus here. You see them also as the magician. Wow. So you could be dealing with an Aries maybe, but the King of Wands can be Aries here, right? In your energy. But the King of Wands doesn't have to be, you know, um, fire sign, right? Let's see why you're seeing your person as the magician. Uh, you could be focusing maybe intently on your com on your commitment here. Uh, you know, maybe the magician can be the a new start maybe because it is the number one. Clarify the magician here. Why does Pisces see their person as the magician? The Queen of Wands. So I feel like Pisces, you could be seeing your person as, you know, as a fire sign here, right? Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign in your current energy. The King of Wands over here is the Queen of Wands. You are seeing them that way. But you could be seeing them as maybe, you know, there could be a magician here. And, you know, this is about your commitment here. There could be a magician here. Uh, can be sometimes a little bit of a player here, even in the upright. 
And they could maybe be dealing with a Queen of Wands. Clarify that Queen of Wands. Why does Pisces see their person as the Queen of Wands, please? The Ace of Cups. You could be seeing your person as maybe uh, intently focusing here on a Queen of Wands for a new beginning with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you could. This person, you could be married to this person, right? And you are seeing them that way. Uh, you could also be seeing them, as I mentioned, a little bit of the player here. And maybe they are having a, some kind of a new start with a Queen of Wands here. Because the Magician can also be about kind of like starting out. Simply because it is the number one in the Major Arcana. The Three of Swords is here with the Five of Wands in the Reverse. This is the mutual energy between you guys. I feel like there's definite heartbreak between you guys. I feel like a third party could have, you know, uh, caused a lot of problems here. Because I'm looking at some cards down here that definitely indicate a third party, Pisces. I feel like you've been dealing with somebody for a long time who has drug you into one. The Five of Wands in the reverse, I feel like you guys are dropping a struggle though, right? Or maybe ending outside interference here with the Five of Wands in the reverse here. Um... Yeah, clarify that Five of Wands in the reverse here. Clarify the Five of Wands. I feel like there's heartbreak on both sides here. Wow. The Two of Swords here. So if somebody's at a stalemate here, uh, maybe about a third party here. There still could be heartbreak. I feel like there is here. But somebody could be at a, at a stalemate here um, about maybe ending a third party. Wow. Let's get one more card on that Two of Swords. There could be a block to me to communication. I feel like this is just uncertainty. Somebody doesn't know what to do here. Um, it could be that a third party has ended and somebody doesn't know what to do and that there is heartbreak here, okay? Uh, let's get a card on the Two of Swords. Clarify the Two of Swords. Wow, all these cards are popping out. Okay, cool. We have the Two of Wands in the reverse here. So this talks about, you know, lacking direction here, not knowing which way to go. And it uh, matches up with the Two of Swords because the Two of Swords is you can't, sometimes you can't pick between two people or it's just uncertainty here, right? Like uh, at a stalemate here. And the Two of Wands in the reverse can be also at a stalemate, right? Like lacking direction, kind of like that. I feel like um, in the chat, this is, I'm sorry, in the mutual energy yeah, somebody doesn't know here where to go. They're lacking direction. This can also be that somebody is not able to maybe choose a partner with the Two of Wands in the reverse here. Wow. Okay, let's go on with their energy now. The Six of Pentacles is their current energy. So that is sometimes giving to two people. I feel like in this reading it definitely is. Uh, clarify the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles showing up? In their current energy, please. Because I see death here twice, right? And, yeah. The chariot is here. Wow. Your person could be moving forward here uh, with somebody who is, you know, somebody they're giving to. They could. They could be, your person could be creating balance or equal give and take. Uh, but, you know, it could be with somebody else because here they are moving forward victoriously with the chariot here. This could be with you, but I don't think it is with these other cards. Clarify the chariot. Why, why is the chariot there? Why is that their energy? Pisces person. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So, the Wheel of Fortune can be Sagittarius here. There's a lot of fire energy here. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands here. We have the King of Wands, and now we have the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, your person could be in a third party with a Sagittarian. That could be the case, Pisces. I know this has come up before, right? It has. Some of these are repeating or, you know, continuing the saga, right? I feel like your person could be moving forward after struggles. They could be moving forward with a Sagittarian. Clarify that Wheel of Fortune. Why is the wheel there, please? Five of Pentacles, yeah, wow. So your person could be, you know, they could be giving to a Sagittarian here and, you know, having victory with them after leaving them out in the cold. Or maybe you have left them out, but to me this looks like somebody has left them out or they have left somebody else out in the past and now 
they are giving to, you know, they are moving forward, it looks like, uh, victoriously with the third party here. Um, there could be a Cancerian here in the mix as well. Now, let's see, we're going to get it, we're going to find out Pisces uh, over on Vimeo, but let's see what we can uncover here. The Queen of Swords is here, and that is their desire. Why would they desire the Queen of Swords? Why does your person desire the Queen of Swords? Okay, so I feel like your person here, this could be you, Pisces, the moon here. Your person could be uh, really discerning a situation about you, yeah. They could also be maybe, you know, demanding answers from you. Um, wow, let's get another card. This is their desire position. Maybe they want to know, like, kind of deep down here about a secret or about you. But um, they could be actually, your person could also be wanting to be with somebody who is this Queen of Swords, uh, who has maybe raised their sword. Basically, this person could be challenging them about you, Pisces, because this can be the moon. The moon can be Pisces or Cancer. Wow. Your person could want to be with somebody who is challenging them about you. Wow, look at that. Clarify the moon. Why is the moon showing up in their desired position? Why is the moon showing up in their desired position? The empress. Yeah, I feel like your person is dealing with an empress. Your person is the one who has a third party here. Okay, I do feel like that. Because you are feeling uh, unvictorious here. And, there, you know, we have too many third party cards here. Uh, with, you know, these different threes and six of pentacles. Uh, also, we have the death card twice here. Um, I feel like there's an empress here that they want. And this empress is challenging them about... This empress could be challenging them about you. But this empress could also be maybe challenging them about... Uh, about maybe being a secret. I feel like your person maybe... Your person could have had a secret here. I feel like they could have been the queen of wands here. But this could be... Your person could be wanting to go... Maybe like dis, you know, discerning within within themselves about you, maybe and an empress, right? That could be the case here. Remember, the empress is the number three in the major arcana, which can uh, you know uh, often imply a third party here, a mistress, right? Yeah, I feel like your person. Wow, your person is maybe wanting to. Uh, your person could be wanting to challenge you as well. Wow. About an empress. Let's get one more card on the empress. Why do they desire the empress? Why does Pisces person desire the empress? Super interesting read. The Queen of Cups is here. This is you, Pisces. Okay. Wow. I feel like your person, yeah, is, is desiring somebody who is challenging them here, or they are challenging themselves, maybe, like, you know, discerning, right, looking for answers within, possibly, uh, you know, about whether or not they want to cut you out, or a Queen of Cups here, um, but in their, in their overall energy, right, their current energy, they have the Five of Pentacles, so they're already deciding, um, I feel like they're already, I feel like your person is over here, um, Moving forward victoriously after either they were left out or I feel like a Sagittarian might have left them out with the wheel right next to the Five of Pentacles. Your person could want, you know, I feel like they, yeah, it's, this has to do with, I feel like your person wants an empress here, but they could want to maybe, you know, they could be wanting someone, as I said, who's either challenging them about you or, you know, or challenging them uh, they could be challenging themselves. All right, let's go on with the reading. We're going to find out. So we have much more, uh, many more cards here. The Two of Pentacles is how they are seeing you, Pisces. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. Why do they see Pisces as the Two of Pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles. So your person, I feel like, is this Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, yeah, but I feel like your person is dealing with a fire sign, possibly, here. Um, now we have the Queen of Pentacles in uh, how they are seeing you. This is why I feel like you're dealing with an earth sign here. Okay, they could be seeing you, though, as abundant, nurturing, etc. 
Um, but they're, I feel like they're, they're juggling you or you are juggling them, as this is how they are looking at the situation here. Um, I feel like they're seeing they're juggling you. But they could be juggling a decision about you. Uh, they were definitely juggling you and somebody else. I feel like that's clear. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles there? The King of Swords. So they're seeing you as making a decision about them, about them juggling maybe, or they are seeing you as uh, they could be juggling a decision about you, maybe. All right? Let's go on with the reading here. Either way, okay? Now, yeah, they could also be seeing you as being detached because there was some juggling going on here. That could be the case. The death card is the past situation, the past dynamic. Let's see why. Uh, I feel like there's just an ending here, right? Talk about the death card. Why is the death card there, please? Um, why is that death card there, please? The star. I feel like in the past somebody was healing over an ending here. Yeah. There could have been even hope after an ending, right? Because I feel like right now... Um, yeah, maybe this is dragging on. Looks like people, yeah, it looks like that, that could be the case here. This is dragging on here, and it was a third party, and uh, I think there's some changes maybe. Um, there could have been an ending already. Clarify the star card. Yeah, the death card showing up in the, in the past dynamic. Clarify that star, please, for Pisces in their person. Nine of Wands. So in the past, I feel like somebody took action here to go after their star. Wow. Or, in the past, you know, this Knight of Wands could be somebody who was a player here. Inconsistent, unreliable energy here that caused a, an ending here. There could be healing over that. Or somebody could be also dealing with their star or an Aquarian. Let's get one more card. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Why is that Knight of Wands there, please? Eight of Wands here. It's here. To me, this is change. It can be communication for somebody, but this is fast change, right? This is movement. These are Wands. The Eight of Wands. I feel like this is fast changes here. Uh, there could have been a, a fast ending here. Wow. There could have also been news here that somebody had their own star outside of a union here, and it created a caused a, an ending here. The Six of Swords is the current dynamic. And that is moving away from conflict, problems. Uh, yeah, clarify these Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords there? It can be moving away from lies. Clarify these Six of Swords, please. Three of Cups. So this is, you know, clear that somebody moved away here because of a third party. Definitely. This could be a reunion here. I don't, I'm not seeing that with the Death card twice. Uh, I don't think so. Clarify the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups showing up in the current dynamic? Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so this can be somebody's making an effort. Somebody could be moving away here from uh, problems here to uh, put the effort in with the third party. There could be a reunion between you guys, possibly, okay? We're going to find out over on Vimeo, you guys. We're going to be exploring that and also uh, talking about the challenge, what they're hiding, what they're fearing, and their true intentions in love with you. I'm also going to be pulling from the Gilded Reverie, uh, which is super exciting, I feel. Thank you so much.